हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सेशन नंबर टू ऑफ डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग वेयर आई एम टीचिंग यू दैट बिफोर बिल्डिंग अ क्रेडिट रिस्क मॉडल पीडी एलजीडी और ईएडी what are the data checks you need to perform so we had one session before this where we have touched upon so many things so we are going to continue from the same point where we left in the last video if you're coming on the first time on the channel please don't forget to check the previous video before this now first of all i'll open the jupyter notebook and you can easily do that and i have already taken a session where i have told you how to install the jupyter notebook let it open guys let me open the workbook so it's in the download and the name is credit risk so this is the workbook which we have done in the previous video okay now see the link for this also i will give in the github and you will be able to download this whole workbook in the description box itself and the previous video also that will have the link for this workbook now in the previous video i told you how to install numpy pandas then how to create a data frame that is everything is covered then we have checked the head and tail of the data i told you one more option that is the display option this is just a revision which i'm making all of you so there is a display option which i told you in previous video then what is the purpose of head after the display option because display gives the visibility on the column name properly after that i told you that how to check the values using this column dot value method after that i told about the info option about your database data frame i mean to say then let's move forward and i told you that how to specially optimize a single column which is a continuous variable so how to convert that into numeric so all of these things are already covered and in the end i was able to achieve the number uh, the basically the column was converted into a float with that is basically what i wanted like in the floating point number i wanted decimal values so that's okay now in today's session we are going to touch upon some very important concept okay this was just a revision now from the same column only that was the employee length will move to a new column so in the data we have credit line information if you see here in the list of the columns so there is a credit line information let me show it to you so all of you can see this is the variable which i want to perform some operations the reason is what is credit line information like when was the first time the credit line was given to the person so basically it will tell us about the tenure of the loan simple now if i copy this earliest credit line let me just copy it and move down so here in this cell i will call my data frame that is rajat rajat was the data frame name inside this if i just pass this column and i just close this now if i run this shift and enter so you will see this is hitting a error what is the reason rajat is not defined okay so since the session was closed i need to run this cell just one time this one so i'll just go here so now my session is ready now the data frame is created and i will go in the last immediately and when i run this this time you can see it okay so there was no error and all of you can see it is showing that uh, how actually the values are there from right starting from the january it's showing some value till the end so how i can sort this using the display option which i also explained in the same workbook let me run that that piece also so that all of you will be able to see the data properly let's go up and after this i use the display option because display option what it does it show all the columns now this is the display option let me run this also let's go in the last yep now let's run this i think the problem is here that when i am running this it's picking all the variables and it is uh, basically having so many observations so so many observations it's picking at the moment so let's say if you just focus on this five observation initially so you can see the dates are starting from january 85 april 99 which is like 1985 1999 and then 2001 1996 so it has very old data okay now if you want to calculate the value or you want to basically convert the value of this column because this is 
telling you about the credit line like when the loan was disbursed so how i will do that so let me write a code for that simply using the data you will create a new column the name of the column will be let's keep similar name so that it's easy for you and i will put date here now simply i will close this box here and there is a function in pandas to date time which basically convert the data into date time then the data frame i will call and single ticks this is the variable now i want to convert this variable basically to date time format and i am passing this value so just this i will close this now one very important catch i am giving the format of the data also okay so how i can give the format i will give percent b hyphen percent y and it's closed now one bracket is there one more bracket i need to close now if you this if you see this percent b so this basically talks about for the first three letter which is eventually this j a n and then this percent b is basically responsible for last two digit now on the basis of this format this will convert his this whole column into a date time format because when you disburse a loan you want to see the whole data and you want to see the column in the right aspect because you want to see the date month year which time actually and moreover you are interested in the month because that is the right calculations are always triggered through month that how many months back the loan was triggered so that's what the calculation i'm doing here so this is what i'll do then i'll give a enter here so maybe let me quickly run this so there is a error here let me quickly check what is the error it is showing so there is some value error so i can do one more thing which i told in the previous session also uh i can basically give the error type so i can write error equal to and single ticks i just need to pass this now let me run this piece of code what it does basically it basically this error option convert all the invalid value into a value which is na so any treatment anyways i am going to do later on but uh, this is also not able to solve so maybe one reason is here so there are some invalid values actually that's why this part was hitting error uh let me refresh this sometime the session is open for a very long time so that's why it hit also error let's go in the last and this is a comment which i wanted to put so how i can solve this when we have such kind of errors so one way is actually fix the error with a format given like when you have a dates which are earlier than 90s so you need to give a specific concept which actually tells the date to give the correct value okay correct interpretation of 1990 instead of a wrong date so that's what i will do now fixing years error how i'll do it i will call my data set dot loc and then rajat and inside that i will call my column that is earliest credit line date pass this column close the braces like this okay then i will only work for the years because years are not coming correctly maybe year if it's greater than 2025 because sometime in data it can happen that the wrong years are mentioned okay so to make that flexible i am doing this now let's make it greater than 2025 which is the current year and then i'll past paste the value again here so i need to be very careful that's why i am pasting it very slowly because uh, a wrong spelling can make the code again go totally wrong minus i will do pd dot then i need to pass the data offset function which is given by python so i will pass date of set and year i will pass for 100 year so that there is no issue 
years equal to 100 okay now let's run this okay i think the issue is let me actually close this session again refresh this and uh, let's quickly refresh this one sometime it's because of the session only so the session is refreshed now let me run this perfect okay so now it's running up and running now what i need to do i can simply check the type type of this whole value which i have given i'll paste this and i told you one more thing that you need to give a index close this close this now let's run this okay perfect guys so there are some struggles obviously which you also need to memorize guys these are the things which we usually use okay now guys one more thing which you should remember that i used this log function to filter the data here okay so i was able to filter the data and that's how i created this whole framework of 100 years so just memorize this this is something you use before your model was built so that your data have a consistency okay now the type of the data has been converted to timestamp okay now let's move forward so calculate how much time has been passed as of now i want to calculate overall time has been passed after the earliest credit line simple now how i will do that that is going to be very easy pd dot to date time function i am using it here and then i will pass the date what is the date i need to pass here so the date will be let's say current date i want to calculate the distance between the first disbursement of the credit line before uh, today's date between the, today's date. So what is today's date? I will pass a value 2025 02 and it's 19th February. So I'm passing that date carefully closing the bracket minus I will pass this whole value. If I pass this now let me run this. So you can see this has been converted into days. Okay. Like from the disbursement day, how many total days has been there when the loan was given. So if you see for first five observation, it's showing for rest of the observation. Also, you can see using the functions like head or tail you want to do. So now I can see now the best practice, which usually consider in company that you need to convert the data into month. Okay. How I'll convert this data into month. Let me tell you. So to convert all this data into month, I need to create a new variable. Let's say, let me copy the same variable and I will put a month with this month. Guys, always make sure that the new columns which you are creating, they should be associated with the older column values which you are giving. Now this whole expression, which I was giving to calculate the date, I will paste it here in a bracket because I want to calculate the date. Now what I'll do, I'll divide this. I'll call numpy library. This is again a function to convert into months. Okay. So time Delta 64, then braces here. Then I want to convert this into month. So carefully I will give this how many brackets are there total which I need to close. So let me check one, two, this one is closed here. Then this one is closed there. So I think we are good. All the brackets are perfectly matching. Now one more thing I need to do. I'll round off the month. So I'll use a round function now to apply the round function. Simply I have given the brackets. This C guys, these are the main checks you need to perform one open two open then, then, then three open. Now how many are closing one, two, three. This 
this one is closed here this one is closed here yeah let's run this uh it's saying np is not defined that is numpy library so let me quickly import see that's how we import numpy and pandas now i'll copy the pandas import part i'll go in the last where i'm doing this activity i'll give a enter here simply import numpy as np now let's run this again so there is a value error let me check quickly what is error so guys the possible fix i just checked actually so this is the part which is sometime not supported so we have one more method which we usually do here and that method is divide by the average uh, number of days in a month so that is somewhere if you take the average that is somewhere 30.5 because february have some less days some month have more days so on the basis of that if you see so i'll use that method so maybe i'll call dt here what i'm doing now i'm creating earliest credit line month and i'm checking the difference round function i'm still using here but i want to divide with the number of days in a month so that value will convert it into the number of months ultimately so i'll write dt dot days now divide by 30 point let's say 44 so i was just checking on this that 30.44 is the average days in a month if you take the average of all 12 months in a generic year now when i run this code so all of you can see that the code has run successfully here okay now if i want to showcase the result so i'll what i'll do i'll call the data and then inside that i'll call this variable enter here and dot describe so describe is like showing about the metadata it will show everything about this particular variable let's run this so now you can see that all the values of this particular variable has been shown like what is a mean what is a standard deviation what is a minimum value what are the quartiles it it is showing the quartiles in what is a maximum what is a minimum value everything sometime guys you also see negatives here so you need to do further analysis on the basis of that okay sometime if you see the negative here so you what you will do uh, you need to either replace those negative values of the column with the average or either you need to eliminate those value i'll tell you why so let me explain that to you how that basically works so guys how that basically works as i said uh, when you replace any of the negative value with either average or mean or highest value or lowest value in that case you need to use that variable and there is second condition if you don't want to use that variable for a very long time in your data then you can eliminate simply all the negative value the reason is because they create biases in your data so these are the steps which you need to follow before making any credit risk model on that note i would like to take a leave from all of you and i will again mention these are the mandatory pre-processing steps which actually all the banks are performing on each important variable for example loan to value in lgd model that is a very important uh, variable i would say so if you want to understand this whole concept of credit risk modeling you have to go on that level sometime in all these video even i get errors so you should learn from those error and also there are certain things which you just need to memorize rather than understanding them because sometimes syntax are more about remembering not about understanding so on that on that note i will take a leave from all of you i'll see you in the next video where we would be continuing with the pre-processing of the data in the right manner so i'll see you in the next video all the best guys thank you so much if you like my my channel please subscribe don't forget to subscribe and share your feedback in the comment section thank you so much